Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are checking out classes and affinities in Alluvium. Affinities being elements or whatever you want to call them. But um, I wanted to go through it. I made a bit of a spreadsheet about it. I want to talk about, um, you know, starting off with free-to-play players, what you have access to, then going into like all the different options that we do have for affinities and um, class combos and stuff like that. Because Aaron did post this one in the leak section of the Discord uh, probably, this was probably like a month or two ago. Um, but I tried to do my best to get all the names for all of them, work out what all of them were, um, and I just wanted to go through it a bit more in depth, so let's get into it. Okay, so I moved my head for this one. So what he, what I have here is a table that's showing us the tier zero options, which is the free-to-play options. Now, we're going to have... The, the game has five core elements or affinities and it has five core classes. The elements are obviously, or affinities are air, nature, fire, earth, and water. And then the classes are fighter, which is like a warrior type vibe. You've got the bulwark, which is the tank. Um, you've got the rogue, which is the rogue, but I had to put something else in there because all of the others had something else. So I called it the assassin. <laughs> Then we've got the Scion, which is like your mage, and then the Empath, which is your support, which I'm assuming is going to be both healing, um, but might, might also incorporate buffing and debuffing. I'm pretty sure that's the way it's going to run like that. So that's your five main classes, your five main, five main affinities. For the tier zeros, which are the free to play, we only have five different alluvials um we've only seen leaks for three of them we have doka who is the fighter we have grokko who is the um the bulwark or the tank and then we have flish who is the scion or the mage now if i've spelled these names wrong i apologize because i've only really heard the names i don't doka is the only one that i've actually seen written um but those are your three main ones. And the reason I've got this, this catalog out like this is that Doka is going to have a fire version, a nature version, an air version, and a water version. At the moment, I've only found an image for the earth version. Same with Grokko and same with Flitch. I've only found earth versions for all of them, um, but that is what they're going to be. And they're going to cover those the, all elements. So there's going to be five different element Dokas. There's going to be five different element Grokkos and then five different element Flishes. And then hopefully we can find out who the Rogue and Empath are soon so we can add them to this chart. But basically what's going to happen is these guys will have evolutions as well, um, but they're just going to be like sort of increase the size of them. I, I believe it'll be like they get a bit bigger. They're not going to be like drastic changes and they might get a bit more powerful, but have an increased energy cost. So in the base, in the base uh, affinities and classes, we have 25 different possibilities. Then we move on. What I want to go into now is go deeper into the in, into the affinities and then deeper into the classes. So the classes, um, the affinity, sorry, we have those five core ones. But then every affinity can combine with another affinity. So as alluvials evolve into stage two and stage three, they can pick up extra affinities or extra classes. Now they can also pick up an additional um, affinity or class that is the same as their current one. For instance, if we look at something like water down here, water, a, water car a water alluvial might pick up on evolution an additional water trait, which makes it Maelstrom. Um, however, a water might pick up an air attribute and become a frost. So this is all the combos. I've just put this table out um, based on what you know the, the thing was. So you can see um, what their name is and what the combo is. So for instance, Bloom is going to be Earth and Nature. Dust is Air and Earth. Inferno is Fire and Fire. And you can get the get the gist. Shock is going to be Fire and Wind, uh, and so on and so forth. And I have to say a big shout out to Pelican over on Discord for helping me out with some of these names. I was missing some of the names, and he managed to fill me in on all of them. Um, so that is the way it's going to work. Now. They're going to have different bonuses depending on, you know, how many of the same uh, affinity you have in a team and stuff like that. And obviously having the extra affinity, you're going to get extra versatility, but doubling down on the one affinity is going to give you more impact in that one affinity is the basic gist of the way it will operate the fine tuning of it i don't know yet we're waiting for sort of a beta to find out the exact numbers and benefits that you get but that is the basic idea then we jump over into classes once again we have the five separate classes and again you can as they evolve and as they evolve it's not like a set thing where at stage two they pick up an extra affinity and at stage three they pick up an extra class some won't pick up an extra affinity or class uh, some might get the class at stage two and the 
Infinity at stage three. Uh, it just depends on the alluvial on the alluvial in general what they get. But once again, we do have the five base, um, and they can all roll into something mixed with another one. Um, or a double down on themselves. For instance, if you double down on Fighter, you end up with a Berserker, I really like. As you can see, we do have some question marks here because I don't know what the actual name of these combos are, um, but we'll have to wait and see. But that's the basic gist of that. So what I wanted to look at here is, when we look at this table here, how we have five up the top and we have five on the side, which gives us a 25 different combos. When we take into account that there's actually uh, 20 different... Uh, 20 different uh, affinities and 20 different classes. If you wanted to roll that out, you've actually got 400 different combinations of affinities and classes that are possible in the game. So when we get all the alluvials in the game, we're not going to have every class affinity um, combination covered, which I love because it's like there's always something new that they can introduce with like different, different combos, which I really really do like and obviously sim similar to the the affinities you know you're gonna get bonuses depending on what you have um in your classes um when i spoke with aaron he was saying something like you know for instance berserkers might buff fighters um like double down on the buff of fighters but they might not gain the buff from other fighters and stuff like that so there's there's a lot that's very vague to me at the moment, so I don't want to go too deep into that. But I just want to look at a couple examples. So if we jump back here and we look at something like this, um, this is a good way to have a look at it. So this picture gives us a look. So we got Atlas. Atlas is stage one. It's water and bulwark. And then you can see as Atlas goes into stage two, into Axon, it be, it's still water. It hasn't changed that water attribute, but it does pick up and become a Harbinger. Now, when we look at Harbinger, if we go down here, we can see it. I should be able to see it here. I'm taking forever to find it. I can't find it. Oh, they, I think they actually changed the symbol. No, they didn't. They didn't. It's the same. Okay, there it is. Harbinger. So it's bulwark, bulwark and scion. So it's like, like a tanky mage is what it becomes. Um, dude, that took me forever to find that. So you've got Harbinger. And then as it becomes Axodon, it picks up its extra um, affinity and becomes a Maelstrom. And adds, it picks up that extra water affinity. Ramphy, for instance, we start as Fire and Rogue, becomes Fire and Slayer, um, which is the Slayer is the Rogue mixed with the Fighter. Uh, so it's like a Warrior Rogue. And then it becomes Ramfire and it becomes Inferno, which means it picks up that extra fire element. A few more to look at. Um, we can see that uh, the Pistol Shrimp at base is Water Scion, becomes Water and an Invoker, which is Double Scion. So it's like doubling down on that, uh, that mage sort of aspect of it. Once again, that's another Ramfire. Uh, we do have Archie. So Archie starts out as an Empath, so a support. Um, I do believe his ultimate has healing involved. Um, and then as he evolves, he picks up, he goes into, um, I, I hate saying this word because I pronounce it wrong, but Aegis, I'm going to say with, but so he picks up that tank um, or the bulwark um, uh, class in that one. And then as he fully evolves, he gets overgrowth, which is once again, double grass. Now these ones, we start to get some different things. Um, we can see here that this is, if we scroll back a little bit more, uh, Singe is going to be stage two here. So we've got the magma, which is your rock and fire, and he's just a tank. Then he becomes a dreadnought, which is a fighter and a tank um, as he evolves. And you basically, you can look at all the leaks they've done and you can find out exactly what they are. Um, so this guy's the stage two of the scorpion. You can see he's poison, which is water mixed with grass. We got granite over here for Titano, which I love, but I always forget his name. Um, and he's, you know, that's double earth and juggernaut, which is double tank. So he's just like doubling down on that earth tank aspect. Um, Umbra, uh, Umbra here or um, I don't know how I'm supposed to say that I say I want to say Umbre but uh but yeah whatever he steamed so far in water and then phantom i love this guy if you saw him in the trailer he had he he's a rogue mixed with a mage and the way they've done his abilities suit that incredibly incredibly well so he will like shoot projections of himself and do like it looks like a rogue in it looks like a combat rogue from world of warcraft using killing spree he just bounces around in like this shadow form and does it like it's the like his skills are like the perfect epitome of what like a mage rogue would be. And I think they've just done it well. So I can't wait to see how they evolve all of this stuff. And then we've obviously got the scorpion who is um, rock and or earth and fire. And then we've got Arcanite, which is ooh, maybe Arcanite's one that I didn't fill in. Maybe I did. I don't know. But that's going to be um, your fighter and mage, basically. So 
that is pretty much the gist of it. I just wanted to go through that because I just, I personally enjoy all this stuff. Um, and I know some people might not have been across what was actually going on with all the classes and all the affinities. Um, the, the, wrong picture, but these, these are the NFTs. These are great NFTs. But um, but yeah, a bunch of stuff going on with the affinities. Like I said, 400 different possible, possible combinations of affinity um, and classes, which is ridiculous. The, the amount of theory crafting that's going to go into this game is insane. And I am incredibly excited for it. But anyway, guys, I'm going to shut up now because <laughs> I feel like this was meant to be a really quick video. And then I got really excited about it and went on way too long. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day and I'll look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers.